working on a new deck. This one's smaller. It's about 19 feet by 10 feet out from the house. The deck had old sauna tubes that were already there from the old deck. So I kept them and just uh, reused them. So I put a uh, tri triple header underneath. I uh, miter my corner there so it looks a little bit better. And these uh, posts, I put them in before I put the deck boards on. Then I just cut my deck boards around them. These two here are going to be for a step coming down. So they're a little closer. These posts here go right down through. They go right down through the deck so that they're solid. So if you move them left or right or the other way, they're pretty solid. These ones here, which are sitting on the corner of the deck, I just put a couple of screws up through the bottom. It's shaky right now, but once you install the rail, this would be a 90 degree here. And the 90 degrees are always solid. So there's no need to go down through the deck to make your posts firm. You see this one here, I just toenailed the screws in. But I'm going to cover it with an aluminum post wrap when I'm done. That one in there, that post goes right down through the deck. Yeah, so she's good and solid. So, that's where I'm at right now. I got most of the deck boards down. You'll notice that uh, I cut a piece of decking here with the outer factory edge on the outside. This is about 7 sixteenths or 7 eighths, I should say, of uh, thickness. And when I cut my deck boards, they all butt up to that. So you're not looking at the cut ends of your deck boards. The very first deck board I notch out about three quarters of an inch with a miter on the tip. And so it all looks pretty good. Put a screw in through here to pull her in tight. Do the same down at the other end so that we're not looking at I'm not looking at the cut ends of the deck board. Some people do it with a wide deck board, but then you got to put up another beam in. I think it's too big myself. All the joints. When I cut my joints, I put my saw on a tilt. Not much of a tilt, but I'll show you. If you look closely right here. Right down here. It's not quite on zero, so when I do my cut, the cut has a little bit of a tilt to it, so that when you, when the top of the uh, when the top of the deck boards butt together, the joints are nicer. A little technique that I thought of, and it seems to work good. The outer face down here. I cut it on a 45. Screw in through here, screw down through there. I always try and save the nicest boards for the outside with the less uh, dings and blemishes in it, I guess. Same with the sides. That's it for now. So, next video. This is the first video. The next video, I'm going to uh, show you how I do the railings. Cool.